Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Wasman, the Madman's Crafty Bastard Beer and Food Reviews. Uh, this is a long-awaited episode that contains a beer review. Uh, I know I've been dying to do one for quite a while now. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm sure you guys uh, have been waiting as well. Um, uh, so I've gone to my local uh, supermarket for this episode tonight. I wanted to reach uh, a wider audience. Hit the hit the beer shelves and pick up something that is available to the mass market. But I wanted to get pick up something I don't believe I've picked up before. And this is what I got. Today I'm bringing to you a bottle of Lef. Lef Brun Brown. Um, it's in this beautiful bottle. I think it cost me £3.50. It may have been on offer, I'm not 100% sure. So, I don't know if you've had your uh, a taste of left previously. It's a yeasty, malt forward, delicious um, ale. Uh, and I'm guessing this isn't going to be much different other than it's been brewed with. I, I would imagine this is the same hops. I'm not 100% sure. If you think they're different, please comment down below. But they'll be brewed with uh, your chocolate malts. Um, so, I should have really come to think of it, picked up the original to compare, but maybe I'll do that in another episode. If you'd like to see that, comment down below. Anyway, it's it's in this 750ml uh, bottle. It's weighing in at 6.5% ABV. It doesn't have a fancy uh, pull cork. Um, it's just got a bottle cap underneath. But let's open it up and see what it looks like. See that? Just missed it. There was some smoke. Um, but yeah, you know the score. So I'm going to go for, for uh, some aroma from the bottle. Oh, immediate yeasty, estery flavour. Those banana clovey notes. That's about it so far. But that aroma appeals to me it might not appeal to it's i suppose an acquired taste uh, but if you're into your your uh, belgian uh, or wheat beers um i have a feeling this one would be a good one to check out especially if, if you've not had a, a a brown wheat beer before i think i did a review of the frank no, not Francis Scanner. Um, I can't remember. I'm sure I've done a brown um, Belgian wheat beer review. Okay, look at that. Lovely colour to this. Uh, one thing I do want to note. Oops. I would much prefer to be drinking from a for this style of beer, a different glass, uh, maybe your schooner type glass, or a Tropist specialist glass, but I don't have any with me. Uh, one thing, another thing I do want to note is this glass I, I recommended to my good friend Gary. He has just started a YouTube channel called Gary's Not Well. Uh, so I'm expecting good things from him and his channel. Um, but please head over to his channel, uh, check out his first ever beer review. I think he'll be doing numerous videos, not just beer reviews, a bit of everything. And um, yeah, give him some love. Give him some positive encouragement. Uh, he's not sure, he wasn't sure whether to delve into it. I said, just go for it, have a laugh. That's what we're all here for. So yeah, Gaddy's not well, check him out. But if you do check him out on his first video, he's drinking from this uh, recommended glass. By the was man and if you want to check it out head to amazon i can't remember how much it was it wasn't too much uh, maybe about 17 pound i can't remember but it's a good weighty glass uh, it's a bonus that it's got house of stack from game of thrones but yeah, this glass in, partic in particular feels great heavy good quality 
Um, I love it. Anyway, here we go. So, I don't have a torch with me today. I don't have a nibbler. But it is a nice chestnut ruby colour. A slightly, not tanned, but caramel, ever, ever, an ever so slight caramel note appearing through the uh, head of the ale. Oh beer. Right. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of the sediment, sediment at the bottom uh, of this. But we'll find out towards the end. Most likely. To, um, it's been sitting for a while. So, anyway. It's nice to be back. Wasman is going to go in. Here we go. Mmm, that's delicious. It's got a nice, <clears throat> it's got a nice, almost zesty punch. It's got the bready malty notes. And it's definitely got a big yeasty taste. <clears throat> like I said, that banana flavour comes through, or aroma around the mouth. It does have a malty taste. And it's quite, it's quite a punchy taste. Uh, nothing too extreme, but it's it's delightful. It's not it's not as mild as I was expecting it to be. Excuse me, in terms of delivering a punch, a little smack in the mouth. Hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> so I'm picking up definitely caramel notes, maybe a little bit of dark cherry. Yeah, I would classify it as a dark cherry taste. Um, it's got lovely carbonation. Uh, it's nice and light, the carbonation. But it it does give it a nice mouthfeel. It's a light bodied um beer, not too light, or oh, say medium. Oh yeah, I'd say medium. It's got that sight uh, kind of treacly finish to it. Don't know if you can see it on the glass. There is a little bit of um Almost like a syrupy lacing to it, just slightly. Um, yeah, so far, so good. Especially for the price £3.50. Yeah, here comes the, uh, the, the sediments. So it's, um, you know, it's not quite, well, I suppose it's a full bodied, um, but it's, uh, it's not as uh, murky as I thought it may be, but I'm sure it will be once I get to the bottom here. Um, but it, it doesn't make a difference to the, to the luxurious mouthfeel this beer offers you. Uh, obviously a big part in the mouthfeel is the, the stuff that's contained within the body of the beer <coughs> which is why you know your hazy juicy IPAs have become so popular and they're called smoothie beers or you know it's delightful it's nice and it gives each beer a different body for its own reason <coughs> excuse me but it doesn't always need to. Uh, you can have a decent body just by the way they've brewed it. And quite clearly, they've done a good job on this. Um, but yeah, I expect the bottom of this to be full of uh, yeast. 
Um, so the the malts. Let's talk about the malts. So this is different to original left because it's been brewed with your chocolate malts, dark roasted malts. Yeah, and I mean, it's coming through. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. It's a subtle, um, chocolatey note. Bready. I mean, you get the bready note through the malts, the original malts, but especially crisp malts, but it's nothing too, um, noticeable however it's there and it gives it a subtle and delicious um finishing piece to this uh, beer this that's exactly how i describe it so i'm gonna take one more swig and i'll wrap it up for you guys here we go wasman going in All the rest in and I'll just see whether it changes the <sighs> look at that there it all goes oh yeah actually it's not uh, I was wrong There wasn't any or barely any sediment sitting at the bottom of this. So I don't know. I would have assumed it was bottle conditioned, but that would indicate to me it's not been bottle conditioned. Uh, I don't know. I'm no expert, but if you guys are watching this and you know whether it has been or hasn't been bottle conditioned, Please comment down below, educate myself and others that will read the comments. Um, but that being said, this is a fine beer, and for £3.50, a 750ml beer of this calibre, I think is a, a quality price point. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend this if. If you've never tried this, or life in general, I recommend you go to Tesco, pick one up, give it a go. Always worth giving a go. Even if you're not familiar with the style of beer, give it a go. I mean, £3.50 is not going to break your bank. And you are getting something of tremendous quality compared to, you know, your usual mass-produce. I'm not saying this isn't mass-produced, but it's of a different quality to certain other beers let's just say and even if you don't like the style i mean like i said it's not going to break your bank check this out um i'm going to give this a rating um i've thoroughly enjoyed it to be honest with you i don't know whether it's because i haven't done a beer review for a long time uh i don't know but i'm gonna give this a really good score Yeah, that's a good beer. I could be biased because I like this type of, this style of beer. But I'm considering the price point, the quality of the beer, even the uh, packaging. It's a bit, and the volume. Well, that goes in hand to hand with the price points. But either way, I'm waffling on now. I mean, it's a big, quality, strong, punchy, not mega punchy, but delicious. And I think... As an overall finishing statement, this beer has been well produced for the price and will cater to a huge audience because it's nothing offensive. In fact, it's quite delicious. And, and in that case, Wazman's going to score this 
for me, genuinely, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. I think it's great, fantastic. So if you're new to my channel or new to this video, please like if you can. doesn't matter if not. Got to do what I've got to do. Please like, share, subscribe, do what you need to do. And comment down below. If you want to see me review any other beer for you, please let me know. Or anything for that matter. Dabbling with a bit of food at the moment. A bit of non-alcoholic drinks. If you want to see me do anything, please drop a comment down below. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review. And I hope to do more soon. Um, and get back on track, guys. Uh, this has been Wasman the Madman. Uh, have a good evening. That's about it. Boy, boy.